Hello from Crown Heritage. During our training minute today, we want to talk about the Flex Horizontal Cable Rail System from Crown Heritage. Unlike our traditional kitted systems, the Flex system, or what we call the Swedgeless system, involves using a 100 or 500 foot spool of cable, as well as a non-tensioning and a tensioning end fitting. First, let's take a look at installing this system with level post. The first thing you want to do is to go through and mark all of your hole locations at three and an eighth inches. You're gonna to wanna to drill a 9 32nd inch diameter hole at least an inch and a half deep in each of the positions that you just marked on your post. Next, we're going to install the non-tensioning fitting first using the 3054 driver. In installing this, you want to ensure that the shoulder of this fitting is up against your post once it's all the way in. Next, we will install the tensioning end, and as you can see, it becomes a two-piece fit. It has a hex opening that's 3 sixteenths of an inch on the end that you can install either with a traditional Allen wrench, or some people like to take and cut those where that you can chuck them into your drill for the installation to make it just a little bit easier. Here, you're gonna make sure that all the wood threads are hidden inside the post. Once you have the first part of the tensioning end installed into the post, then you want to put the remainder of it onto the threaded portion. And you're gonna run this up till all of the male threads have been covered, and you're gonna stop from there, and next we'll measure and cut the cable to go into both ends. Okay, next we're gonna install the cable. So you're gonna to go to the non-tensioning end first. You're gonna insert your cable and turn it clockwise into this pull lock fitting. And then I'm gonna pull back on it to ensure that it's in there correctly. Then I'm gonna bring it over to my tensioning end and there's gonna be a score mark on this fitting where you're gonna to wanna to mark your cable and cut it from there. So as I get it marked, I'm gonna take a, a uh, cable cutter or you could use a cutoff wheel either one and I'm going to cut this cable making sure that it don't have any frayed ends. Alright once we've cut our cable then we're going to back this fitting off to where we've got about five or six of the male threads exposed and this will allow us to tighten and tension this cable properly. So just like on the other end I'm going to insert this and turn it clockwise so that that pull lock fitting catches it. And from there, we're gonna use two 3 8 inch open end wrenches to tension this fitting. Once we've installed the cable, next thing we're gonna do is tension it. We're gonna use two 3 8 inch open end wrenches, one on the end next to the cable that's gonna be stationary. I'm just gonna hand tighten this up as far as I can, and then I'm gonna take this wrench and finish tightening it to the proper tension. As you tension these, you're gonna start in the center and work your way out toward the top and the bottom of the post alternate. And that finishes it up. So this has been just a quick overview. We hope it's been helpful to you on how to install the Swedgeless system by Crown Heritage. If you have further questions, please give us a call.